With this extreme heat comes increased wildfire risk to the point that many insurance companies say they lose too much money in our state to keep insuring our homeowners. One solution could be allowing some of those folks to have some companies to hike their premiums, except it does take a while. That's why Governor Gavin Newsom is introducing a trailer bill to expedite the rate hikes. Take a listen. We need to get this rate ruling process done, and that's why we want to expedite it over a 60-day period. Uh, we need to stabilize this market. We need to send the right signals. We need to move. We need to move. The market does need some help. And joining me now to talk about all that is insurance expert and president of the Sussman Insurance Agency, Carl Sussman. Always great to have you to talk about this stuff, Carl. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Uh, so we're talking about trying to get the insurance industry to be able to be solvent and operable here in the state. They say they're losing too much money. Part of it's that the premiums, they can't hike them quickly enough. Why is that? Well, it's not even just a matter of the premiums per se. It's any type of policy change takes months and sometimes years. I think the record is over three years for some type of underwriting change to go through the process. So part of what's happening right now and part of the trailer bill that Gavin Newsom has trying to put forward now is going to expedite that process into something that's a little more manageable and something that's actually more realistic. And that process, was that set by Prop 103, which has set so much of the insurance, they call it the insurance Bible here in California? Right. What's interesting is Prop 103 dictates that these changes be done relatively quickly, about 180 days, but in reality, it's taking years. So what's happening now is the sustainable insurance strategy, which is in part what uh, the governor is trying to put forth faster with the trailer bill, is going to expedite that. It's going to allow a 60-day period of time for the Department of Insurance to review, where they can then have two additional 30-day windows if the department needs it. And that's it. Not that they have to approve it at that point, but they have to respond to the insurance carriers at that point. So you said a couple of buzzwords that people at home should try and remember, the sustainable insurance strategy. And it's one of these things that we'll continue to talk about with Carl because it's part of the whole reform to make it so that homeowners in California can rely on those insurers being in the state. Do you feel like this trailer bill, this Newsom plan, is going to get it so that the premiums can be raised in time for wildfire season? Well, it's not even a matter of the premiums being raised. It's about the carriers being able to write in California. Right. And ostensibly, all this trailer bill is doing is expediting the sustainable insurance strategy that's going into effect slowly being rolled out. Supposedly, it's supposed to be done by December. So this first part, which is going to expedite changes to insurance policies, again, it's not simply a matter of fast rate increases, it's right. any type of change to a policy will be done in a shorter period of time. Fortunately, and that uh, the budget hearing that we were looking at a clip on earlier, mm -hmm. Governor Newsom also said he is speaking with all of the insurance carriers. I think his quote was something, because I was very excited, he said, I'm talking to all of them. You know, they're hearing from me. Mm -hmm. As they are committing to him that if these things are done, they will re-enter the market to compete. Well, they want to enter this market. California's the fourth largest, you can correct me if I'm wrong, insurance market in the country. So there's money here for them just right now. It's They're upside down on it. So part of the sustainable insurance strategy, I mean, there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of criticism. People say it's Ricardo Lara and New plan and they're sort of in bed with the insurance companies to some degree they are because they want them to come back consumer watchdog criticized some of these ideas that's in there I guess just for the beginning and for the folks at home what are the main tenants the main reforms that the sustainable insurance strategy would bring in that's a great it's a great way to summarize it there's basically four parts the first part says all right insurance carriers instead of having this up and back process whenever you want to make a change mm -hmm. we're going to give you almost a checklist we're going to tell you exactly what it is that we need to look at your filings before we will let you make any changes. Right now, that process, both sides are saying, takes is, is what's taking so long to get things done. That's the first thing. And that is what Governor Newsom's trailer bill is saying. We're not even waiting for that. We want that right now. Mm. The next part of it is to allow insurance carriers to utilize catastrophe modeling, basically looking forward and predicting loss versus just looking at what the weather has been like, what type of claims and there have been. we talked about that. AI can be a part of that. There's all these models that feel like a black box, and Florida uses that right now. And for the folks at home, by the way, if I can jump in, I want sure, to sure. points. But the people look at Florida, and they say, well, these premiums have gone through the roof. I mean, am I signing up for a future where my premiums go so high, and where's the transparency into the process of it? This is the interesting part. The transparency aspect of the cat catastrophe modeling is to the Department of Insurance. Mm. It's not to competitors. So, for example, and again, we talked about this before, the the Department of Insurance gets all of the information. There is no black box. They can look at everything. They have to. Mm -hmm. What the carriers do not have to do is release that information to their direct competitors. So since 
as it turns out, Proposition 103 created the insurance commissioner as an elected position. So as residents, we vote, we put the guy there, yep. and we assume he will do what we want him to do. Ricardo he's the one, right, we've voted, we put him in twice, right? Mm -hmm. So he's the one that's looking at all of these changes. He's the one that will be approving any type of policy change. So maybe because Consumer Watchdog doesn't have access to it, that bothers them, possibly. Mm -hmm. But my feeling is if we elect someone to you know, take care of us to make sure that the insurance carriers are staying honest and doing the right thing, then we have to let him do his job, let him do that. Yeah, so and you're ticking down the numbers here. And so we've heard two or three so far. That's three, right, three. Uh, or two. Two or three. Well, we've got the checklist, we call it. We've got the catastrophe modeling. Mm -hmm. We have reinsurance. Yes. Reinsurance is what insurance carriers do to spread their risk, right? So instead of one carrier having all of the risk in the event there's a large loss, they will actually sell part of that risk to another insurance company. You might actually have your risk split between half a dozen companies, mm -hmm. which is good because it's less likely to have right. all of them run out of and money. And the conversation is allowing that reinsurance premium that the insurancers pay, uh, providers pay to have the people at home and be included in the premium that people at home pay? It's, it's included in the calculation. Got it. Every other state does this. It's, we're, we're the only outliner and that does that. And number four before we go. And, and number four is going to be to allow the insurance industry to be able to pivot more fluidly in the event of change. So they're not going to be locked into something indefinitely. If they're trying a new product and it's not successful, then the department is going to work with them rather than mandate they maintain those products. Well, it's very interesting to hear the breakdown of it. You do it so well. Uh, there's critique, as I mentioned, Consumer Watchdog, one of the companies that kind of wrote Prop 103 in a major way. You can correct me if I'm wrong here, but they're saying they don't like it. They don't like the fact that this is going to make a, the public intervener who helps bring the rates down, which is often the Consumer Watchdog, uh, go away. They get a percentage of what amount that they save, right? They do, and that's the strange thing is none of the none of the regulations in the trailer bill or the sustainable insurance strategy change the intervener process at all. It's literally unchanged. Well, it's, it's such an interesting point that you make, and there's just much more to talk about. We're going to see it unfold. Governor Newsom's on it, as are you. Carl Sussman, thanks so much for coming in. And telling thanks us so that. much. Really appreciate it, as always. You break it down so well. Uh, we got more coming up here on Inside the Issues. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.